Right. See you later, baby. That's good. Hey, yo, world. It's Lydia. So, if we did everything right to go live, you see that I am Ken today. The reason why I decided to go live was because I was basically starting to have some phobias about canning. And what I was doing and how I was doing, I wasn't feeling um, very comfortable with the way everything was going. So I wanted to retrap myself, do some more studying, do some more reading, and learn how to do it so I don't have to be afraid. Can you put my phone on Do Not Disturb? Sorry about that. So I'll be using, um, can you bring me the recipe book? I'll be using the recipe today. Y'all know I think I can cook. Hey, love ladies. Hey, healthy home. Hey, lady Cheryl. Um, I'm using the recipe today and I'll be doing, I'm um, using the complete guide to canning. Now, the reason why I decided to go step by step for the recipe so I can be mindful of the way that I'm doing things. So I don't cause anyone to get sick that I may or may not give something to. Um, botulism, um, the headspace, and different things like that I've been very concerned about. So I've been studying for three days. My beans have been soaking for about three days. And navy beans, they stink. <laughs> so, but I know I did that right. So I'm following my recipe guide almost to the letter. The only thing that's going to be missing out of this recipe is the bacon. We do not eat pork. Um, I would like to control the sodium. Lately, for the last 30 days or so, I've been having real bad high blood pressure issues. Um, and a lot of that is from not being able to not sprinkle so hard, you know, or, you know, or just eating things that are not from my home or from my garden. So those things I want to start being more mindful of because high blood pressure is the silent killer. And I'm very aware of it. I've been suffering it through it for years. And enough is enough, Lydia, right? Enough is enough because I am loved by my family. And I know it will be so hard for my family to go without me. So it's I need to do what I need to do to do what I need to do to make sure I do the do right. So I know pressure cannon is a long process. So no, I'm not going to, oh, don't use salt. I don't have to put the salt in the recipe. If you tell me I don't have to put the salt in the recipe, hey, Snoop, that's one of my children. If I don't have to put the salt in the recipe, I will not. So um, I'm not, I won't put the salt in the recipe. But I've been real mindful of, you know, just trying to make sure I can right. So I was going to put the salt in the recipe. And most things that are can't have salt. So I'm waiting for your reply. Okay. Yes, I never use salt. Okay. So this is my mentor, Lady Cheryl. She's telling me she never uses salt. So I'm not going to use salt. Because, um, guys, I've been seeing numbers like 135 over 113, 145 over 118, or even this morning, and I, I managed my food for the last two days, even this morning, my blood pressure was 138 over 98. So I'm, just, I'm not getting that bottom number down. So I want to do everything I can to take care of myself here on earth, you know? So I'm going to just be prepping and talking. Naya's going to help me with the comments at some point so I don't have to rush over there and read. 
Um, I'm using sweet onions. The recipe calls for sweet onions. And um, I don't need to book it right there. So I'm going to be doing that. Naya is going to saute the onions and garlic. And Miss Lady Shell said, no, I have kidney disease. Get the pressure down. Okay. Get that pressure down. I'm going to get this pressure down, Lady Shirley, because um, it's getting a little fearful of what I'm going through. I go tomorrow at 10 o'clock for EK, EKG um, because some of the signs that I'm showing could be signs of heart disease. So they want to make sure that I'm A-OK. Do I feel OK? Yeah, mm, I feel OK. But sometimes I be going through the changes. Um you know, like sometimes I feel like um maybe doing having hot flashes. I be burning up and you know just hot as Dickens. I have a cousin um who always would have hot flashes when you know I've been hanging around her for years and she'd be like, "Oh, I'm so hot!" And if she look at, she know who I'm talking about. <laughs> so what is that? No salt. That's my daughter. So, yes, no salt. Um, I'm not going to use salt. Joy said you look marvelous. Who said that? Joy. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you very much. You guys um, try to talk amongst yourself. I'm going to try to talk with you guys as well. Um, it's a half, one and a half cup of onions, so I'm going to go with the onions. Now, one thing that, like I said, I was worried about was um, some of the things in Canon I'm worried about that I'm getting wrong is put that in the pan for your saute. Mm -hmm. Is um the headspace, botulism, um, different things like that. So, and, you know, I always make sure I debubble. That's like one of my pets. Like, okay, make sure you debubble. That's one of the things you want to do. And Canon should not be feared. It sh you should go into it with ease. And I did go into it with ease, but I started having somewhat concern of uh, my head spacing and my recipes. I've been, you know, just cooking it the way I want to cook it. And then I'll put it in the jar, not really knowing the correct head space and different things like that. So I've been, you might. Wanna one, two, three, four, five, six. You might wanna um I'm sorry, Naya. I'm trying to focus. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, it calls for six cloves of garlic, so I need a bigger knife. <laughs> what about this one? This will be a bigger one. This left hand will get you in trouble. If y'all have any questions, make sure you ask me anything, almost anything you want to know. Um, if I don't know the answer, I will direct you to someone who can. And make sure you guys are all saying hello to one another. Hello to my beautiful daughter, Quee, and my handsome son, Snoop. Thank you guys for your support. Who else in the room? Her healthy home. Her healthy home. Joy. Hey, Joy. Um, who else? Lady Cheryl's in the room. And Lady Cheryl, I know you out there can. I mean, sorry, making your products. And you're doing a great job. Looking forward to your live tonight. I will be there. Because I'll be trying to learn all I can learn. And I just basically, I usually had a rhyme and a reason why I'm trying to do this live thing, you know. Um, I'm not the type of person who like to really put everything out there and different things like that. I enjoy what I found on YouTube so far with friendships and, and you know, just the, the skills that I've learned um, thus far. And I'm just happy to be here but I didn't plan to go live until I um I actually didn't plan to go live my plan is to show you guys my her space is complete um I'll be recording it today 
and um, doing the video. And hopefully I don't have to do a lot of editing because that's in the way. I don't like that part of it. But sometimes I say words wrong or or I didn't say it the way I wanted to say it. So I got to cut it out or some. Y'all know the trouble. People who don't just post, put up videos without editing, they know. You know, you just try to sometimes knock out all your insecurities, if you know what I mean. So um, this is the six garlics. Now, if I didn't already say, I'm going to say it again, just to retract my own self. This recipe is made for five pint, pints. It doesn't advise you to double the recipe. So I want to be careful. So what I'm going to do is do it twice. So I got two pots and I got everything enough to set it up twice. So now it's going to saute this um, garlic and onion down a little bit, which is only going to take a hot minute. You might want to make sure you got a bowl to put that in when you finish because then you got another one. And um, use a little olive oil, very little. Let me put it. Because you know that's the that's the kitchen aisle that, <laughs> that just get hot for no reason. So I I didn't have any plans to go live, and I wanted to really really you know go live, and I wanted to do this video and get it out the way. But then I was like, girl, won't you go live and do it? And as I went, decided to go live, my nerves started setting in and I started getting, you know, a little fearful of, you know, going live. But I'm basically handling this live the same way I handle <laughs> all the candy videos. I just start cutting, doing what I'm doing, and... It, it be recording. So sometimes when I go back, I got to do all that editing because I don't say some, I don't yell at somebody, <laughs> I don't holler that nitty or whatever the case may be. I don't got caught off guard. My last, that video with the, um, my nose running, that video with the um, greenhouse. Y'all don't know how scary I can be. I scare my own self most of the time. And then when my son snuck up on me, I was like, oh my goodness. And then when he saw the video, he didn't even know I was recording. So he called me and was like, I didn't know you was recording that day. I scared you. And he said he was about to stick his head out that plastic. <laughs> if he would have stuck his head out that plastic and I didn't see him coming, ah, to mercy. No telling what would have happened. Um, so, this is going to be a, kind of like a long live, but I appreciate you guys uh, being here with me, um, walking, walking with me on this canning journey. This is not my first time pressure canning. I know how to use the pressure canner. Um, I will not be letting y'all stay for that. What they say? They want me to pressure can this for. It's probably uh, 90 minutes. Oh, pressure can one hour, 15 minutes, which is 90 minutes. Uh, hold on. Prepping time takes 45 minutes. So I'm just going to take y'all through the practice. So after 45 minutes to an hour out in my canning. And then it says um, the cooking time takes 25 minutes. That prepping did not take no 45 minutes. Um, the cooking time takes 25 minutes. And the can um, the canner, one hour processing, one hour and 15 minutes. Uh, but I wanted to talk about, again, something I was a little confused about. I forget you. You forget you got all the two. Lord, I'm up here crying. These onions got me crying. I should have risked them all with cold water. I'm teared up over here. Nose running. Everything. I'm going to wash, wash this off. Hi. Wow. 
Now, I went years without having onions bother me. And just recently, 2020, onions starting to bother me again. I mean, I was an onion pro. But some about these last batches of onions I've been cutting up, been getting my eyes watering. You can turn the heat off that fire now. Okay. Is it translucent? Yeah, just turn the heat off. It's not um, soft enough yet. And translucent just means soft. <laughs> Any questions? No. Leave my bonnet alone, Queen. In moderate, Lord. <laughs> Big sister versus little sister. You like that bunny quick? Let's see. Hey, Snoop. I didn't read that. I, don't like I that. miss you, Snoop. I don't want to beat up no more. Now you said she don't have nobody to beat up no more. And if you guys need to pop in and pop out, you know, go ahead. Do that. Appreciate Why? you. What you read? He said, what, what lady Cheryl say? I want to read that. Lady Cheryl. Uh, hearing out. Hearing. Uh, let me see. Heading out of this post office. Please remind. Remember, you can add whatever you want as uh as you want. As far as seasoning, it concern when pressure candy. Just watch out. Just watch your headspace and pressure. Time. In pressure can for the right amount of time. Okay. 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 Yeah. That's a good tip. That's a good tip. Um, so I can put anything I want to in there. Well, you know, talking about my $15 you get in here. When you talk to them, Naya, just gonna be saying no, just gonna be doing no hood rat stuff and ratchet stuff on my live. I don't do that. You'll be doing hood rest stuff with your friends on that computer. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, I already spent it. So, what Queet said, wow, Naya. What? That's all Snoop. Snoop started it. Uh, what did that say? Oh, that bonnet. She can leave that bonnet there when she visits. it. Thank you, love lady, for stopping back. Yeah, Snoop was wrong. Snoop talked about some, uh, love lady. Love lady talked about that in that video. That uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I need to save all my garlic. I ain't going to be overdoing on no garlic. So... Do you want them softened or? Yeah, softened. Not caramelized. No, not caramelized. I'll take caramelized. Okay, so take them out and then um, get ready for the second round. All right, so I was going to do. The recipe with these. That's how I originally started. And. As I kept reading the recipe, it said, kept just only give you a recipe for five pints. Have I read it all the way through? And then it says, don't double batch it. I'm like, dang. So, you know, I'm so used to cheating. I'm like, do it right, Lydia. Do it right. Do it right. So what I did was I decided to use the five pint jars, which I'm making a total of 10. Now, these beans that y'all can't see that stink. Is a lot. So I'm going to have to not only make these, I have to make more because I have so many beans. And this is the biggest colander that, no, this is not like at a, at a business or nothing, but it's big. So I only can a lot of beans. I'm not happy about that, that's for sure.
Canon is um, fun, but when you don't have two of them machines, when you finish, see what her her, her healthy home said. When she when you finish Canon, you just want to be done. You don't want to be setting this up again because pressure Canon takes an hour and fifteen minutes. If I had to wait for this machine three rounds, that's three hours of my time. She said. Wait, where you go? Make extra batches in separate pots. Make extra batch batches in separate pots. Pots. Like a pot. In a crock pot pot. No, she didn't say crock pot. No, no, no. I, no I, I so you're telling me to... Send me some. These cans have me snoop. I can't send nothing. I'm going to bring them in March. Um, yeah, you're telling it. me do the rec do two batches. Do more than one batch. So I got, I am doing more than one batch. I have, I'm doing it twice. Double. But I'm doing it separate twice. I'm not mm -hmm. putting it in two different mm -hmm. pots so I can get it right. Because mm -hmm. I don't want to play no games mm -hmm. with this cannon. I got people, children eating this stuff. I don't want nobody to be belly up around right here. But canning is a, a skill that is not that lost because it's many, 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 many people doing it. Many people are canning. Now I'm coming behind, coming back here for this garlic. It's many people canning. It's just that. How many young people are killed? I ain't talking about 40. I'm talking about 20. You know, Kanaya's age. You know, she's 13. She's going to know how to can. That's something I was, it wasn't oppressed upon me, you know, but now it is. I have in-laws who can, but she doesn't do it anymore. You know, she doesn't preserve anymore. I think the only thing, um, I'm talking about Grandma Teresita, she only does apple butter. And that's because her, her grand nieces love her apple butter and she got apple trees and she got to make that apple butter. So I think that's the only one thing she's doing. So when I go away for Thanksgiving um, this weekend or this week, we're going to actually be canning up there too. So this was the perfect time for me to start you know, brushing up my skills to go ahead and do it, you know, to take my pots with me when I go because we're going to probably make, maybe we should make festive jelly. That one is a hit. The festive jelly, the pepper jelly is a hit. When I tell you hit, it's a hit. All right, so let's get into this recipe. Are you Miss Shannon? No, I ain't read nothing. Okay. Then Shannon said, I can with my grandma before these machines and when jars were strong. My first canner arrived this week. I was waiting. What? I was on a waiting list for shipping. Oh, did you get the American canner, Shannon? Congratulations on that shipping. I was able to get mine at Walmart, and I know I overpaid. I paid, like, close to $91 for it. And um, it was um, I paid close to ninety one dollars for it, and it was it's a small one. It's not American canner or anything, but um, you're gonna have fun canning. Um, canning is a good thing. Um, it's it's it, you ain't doing nothing. Can just set it set, set it and don't forget it. Love Lady said I started too. I just started too. Yeah, Love Lady Love Lady pressure cans. Um, and she did some beans recent not recently, about two weeks ago. All right, y'all. So now I'm going into the second part since I got my onions getting ready. I'm gonna go ahead and take a large bowl and I'm gonna add in the chicken stock, the brown sugar. Um but this is the problem. Now here we go. I don't have no chicken stock. Water or no? Because if not, if I use water, 
that's going to take away some flavor. Her healthy home, water, just water. I know, I know that's right, Donald. Just water. All right. Because I did have this. Salt. Again, salt. Full of salt. Bouillon cubes, full of salt. Oh, Shannon, you just got here. I, I got to have a little question, girl. My kids love me. I got to stay away from the salt. Uh, American Canada, almost 300. Oh, I want one. <laughs> I want what? I want another can. I really do. If I'm gonna be canning big or do something, I don't want to do it twice. And I went out there. I don't know if y'all got a food line near y'all, but my food line has turkeys, twenty nine cent a pound when you spend thirty five dollars. So I've been to food line a total of three times. I got a total of four turkeys. So I'll be canning turkeys next time. But I won't probably go live. This is a lot of work going live. This ain't even in English. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, well, the sodium is only one, uh, 180 milligram. That's less than some stuff I be reading. So that's one fourth mm -hmm. tablespoon. What she say? Just use water. She said you can always add Miss Dash later. Okay, okay. Come on in, Connie. Yeah, I'm loud, but you can just tiptoe past. Well, <laughs> they hear you. He said, "Tell the world what's up." He the one he'll want to mess up our show. He go get in his bed. They ain't gonna see him. Go tell him. <laughs> but people don't be playing. They don't want to get on no camera. They be like, uh, uh, no, don't put me on no camera. I'm happy. All right, so boom. I'm not gonna use it. I'm just gonna use water. War tour. Now you're behind me burning up. See, you get her one job. She got one job. And she over here burning. I turned it off. Oh, my bad. She turned it off. <coughs> All right. So here we go. We use the water. Y'all see how I got all my stuff? Man. He didn't, he didn't want to mess up our life. I should. Sure. He's going to be like his uncle. Be like, forget that show. <laughs> See if I got any questions now. Kind of, I'm burning it up. Really, I ain't. All right, so. Uh, Mish. Shannon says water and heavy. What did her healthy home say? Oh, her healthy home. Where, where's she at? She ain't say nothing. She ain't say nothing. She ain't say nothing. She gonna make me call her by her real name. Yep. Yell it out. Oh, uh, broke farmer seventy six. Hey, what's up? Oh. What it do, bro? Hey, all the ladies up in this joke again today. Well, I appreciate you giving me a little watch time, you know. Before I blow up one day, you know, when I be already at my watch hours. I just joke. Oh, Happy Home said, I said water works or volumium. Who? Bouillon. Let me see. Bouillon. No. Bouillon, too. So this is bouillon. It's actually not a lot of sodium in this. So I'm going to go ahead and use it. It says one fourth tablespoon. And I'm going to cut it back. So the chicken broth was one and a half cups. So it's going to be one and a half cups of water. So 
Brown sugar. Three fourth cups. Minnie, you tripping. Get out of my kitchen. Go let her out the door. That was my dog. So I gotta put the tomato paste in here. It's the same amount. How much is this? Oh, this is two tablespoons. Hold on, one serving is five, ta two <laughs> tablespoons. Let me see, two tablespoons per serving. 30 calories, sodium 15, make a lot of noise behind me. All that. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. We gotta get all the garlic. Put it in, make sure you put it in a separate book. <laughs> you can't let me. I did a real soon shout. Did that tell? <laughs> The recipe just went wrong. I just want to let y'all know that. The recipe just went wrong. Okay. I think you're going to have to use a measuring cup, probably, or or just eyeball half and half or something like that. All right, so the recipe just went wrong, and I'm still stuck on the three-fourth cup. Woo, that was funny. I look back and be like, don't. Too late. I'm making two batches now. Yeah? So one. It looked like one can is about three fourths. I'm going to roll again because I hold on. Let me double check. This will be this. Like when you um, and if I use recipes, I would have been known that one small can of tomato paste was three fourth cups. But now I know if I'm be using the recipe. See if I got any questions or anything exciting to talk about. Mm. Won't you get your phone, eh? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nay, Nay, and yeah, Nay, you supposed to be getting this some watch time. What you thought, girl? <sighs> what I'm gonna do with her? Hey, Erica. Erica, I I'll be wishing you had content because I want to show the love like you showed me. I really thank you for always coming through, Kathy. I wanted to say so many times in the um. So many times in the live today, I wanted to say everything I said already in the beginning, but I'll start over since the room is, you know, got 10 people in it. Um, I was starting to get fearful of canning. I know in the live today, you talked about canning and um, preserving and what's been pressed upon your heart to do the right thing and to... Um, 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 preserve food to have, not only for yourself, but to help others and, you know, just 
a good live. That was a very good live. So thank you. I wanted to chime in. I was at the grocery store uh, when I was talking to you, getting um, getting that ham, not ham, not ham, not ham. <laughs> I was not getting ham, y'all. I was getting, I was getting my tomato paste. I was, oh, this is too much. I was getting my tomato paste. And um, I spent $35 on just trying to stock up. You might want to mute. Just trying to stock up. This don't make sense to me, but you'll see it in a minute. Just trying to stock up. And I was, um, I got the turkey. The turkey. And, um, but that was a great live. And you, um, thank you for praying for me and, and keep keeping me in prayer. I talked about that on the live too, on my live, just, you know, my blood pressure's um, not being able to get it under control lately and um, staying away from salt. Um, Lady Cheryl came into the live to, since I've been on and she basically just said, um, I should um, just take the salt out. So I decided to take the salt out of this recipe. So um, let's see. Um, Sapphire Diamonds and Pearl said, hey, Bessie, so glad to catch this live. Hey, Sapphire, how you doing? I hope you're still here. I don't know how old that was. I've been mm -hmm. trying to really now get rid of whip into this recipe, molasses. So, uh, her healthy, I'm saying, what is the ingredients, Lydia? Oh, let me see, Lydia. Oh, uh, that's my name. Oh, uh, but... uh, you can just not. Read the name is what you're saying. Half a cup. So we're going to get Naya to come over here and read the ingredients to you for the recipe. And I'll help her as well. This is molasses. Is ginger? So no. So molasses is a type of syrup. You never seen this before. You want to taste it? No. Come on now. No. Taste it for the you people. Taste it for I the people. know what it tastes like. It's your content. I know what molasses tastes like. You never. You don't even know what this is. You. You looking like what is that? It's black. It, it is dark. Ooh. It's sugar. I don't want sugar. You make bomb desserts with it. I don't like gingerbread. But it don't taste like gingerbread. That you put in gingerbread. I'm not gonna Where does molasses come from, y'all? Does it come? I know maple syrup come from a tree. Where do molasses come from? I'm not tasting it. I'm sorry. I know what it tastes like, man. Good lord. It's it's sweet. I'll taste it. Huh? I'll taste it. Big of a lie. <laughs> what? I don't like this. She said, I don't like this. I don't like this. But most people just put it in recipes now. You know, nobody really just. I mean, if, if times got hard, you know what it tastes like? That's drinking factory. Oh, Malta's. A Malta drink. I taste it. I don't, I don't know. What's so, so what they say? Where molasses come from? Girl, don't be scared. It's real. It's real, real easy. You I don't have scared. to. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Who said it? You ain't say. Oh, you talking about cannon? Sapphire. Yeah, sapphire. Yeah. Okay. Vinegar. You're supposed to be reading the recipe. Oh, yeah, then you got him. Okay. Her Healthy Homes. It is. Everybody. I mean, it's everybody. Young World. Young World. Young World. You're going to need two and a half cups of dry navy or a great northern beans, about 16 ounces. And you'll also need 12 to 14 ounces of smoked up if you want to. Bacon, thick cut, 
one large sweet onion dice, about a, one and a half cups, six garlic cloves, six garlic cloves diced. I'll say it. One and a half cup of chicken stock or water. water. Um, three three fourth cups of packed brown sugar. Um, three four cups of tomato paste, sixteen six ounces. One oh, a half a cup of black of what is it called? Me morosis. Molasses. Molasses. One and a half cup. One fourth. One and a half cup of molasses? Yeah. No, it's just a half. That's a half. I said one half. My bad. My bad. A half a cup. You got me worried about the recipe. Sorry, we're going sorry, rogue sorry, again. Sorry. We're going rogue. One fourth cup of apple cider vinegar. One fourth a cup of ketchup. There you go. Two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. Dijon. Dijon mustard. Like Fun fact, brown sugar is sugar with molasses. That's, crazy. What is That's it? why it stinks. <laughs> I'm sorry. How much, how much, um, how much, um, Dijon? It says two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. Oh, oh, oh. That's usual. We'll add that up. Anyway. Well, if I had it recorded, they probably didn't even see that. Oh. I had the mustard upside down, so when I opened it, it spilled out. Okay. Someone said, fun fact, brown sugar, just sugar and mixed with... Brown sugar or molasses? No, brown sugar is sugar with molasses. That's the agreement. Oh, word. Okay. Okay, one teaspoon. What's out the... Uh, what's your song? What's your shit? What's your shot? What's your shot or what's your shit? What's your shot? It's uh, right out the Dijon. Oh, two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. Mm-hmm. I can't trust you, now. Well, you, I mean, I see it. Nothing. One tablespoon, of course, of salt. I mean, if you want to. I'm not putting no salt. Half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Oh, look, put that cayenne pepper up in here. my nose. You can see my nose. Anyway, one and a half teaspoon of ground black pepper. Pepper, pepper, pepper. Yeah. Oh, you said a half a teaspoon? Yes. Ooh, I'm about to put a table. Okay. Please tell her molasses is made from. What? What is it? What happened? How much pepper? Oops. Someone touched that. Anyway. <laughs> Please tell her molasses is made from sorghum. Sorghum. Oh, molasses is made from sorghum. You know, when I was studying on this recipe, um, oh. what else after the pepper? This is rejected. I when I was studying on this recipe, I was looking at um another channel. And she used sorghum, and I was like, "What is sorghum?" So I didn't know what that was. So now I ain't never heard of molasses, and I never heard of sorghum. So who we'll keep rejecting? <laughs> All right, someone keep rejecting her takes. You can read it if you want it. She doing it. She doing it. If she didn't say something right, because if somebody did it, would have told me. Uh, okay. Don't worry about it. Because you can view it. Because this is uh, my life. Oh, okay. So, all right. So, after you put all the ingredients together, oh, can I came in? You whisk the ingredients. That's moderate. I'm moderate. I got the um cup and a half beans already in here. This don't seem right to me. This seems suspect. No. This little bit of beans. Little bit of beans. How many did they ask for? They said two, two and a half cups of dried navy beans. But, but do you think because they're wet, 
I don't know, but this is a little bit of um mixture. Oh, it's lit. It's lit. Oh, it's right. Oh, I'm about to put bush out of business. It says sugar. That that tree is grown like sugar cane. That, that's in um sorghum. Yeah, sorghum. Is anybody growing sugar cane? Well, if I was talking about sugar cane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this mm -hmm. is good. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I don't got a little pepper in my throat. I'm gonna let mine taste. Why? Right. Nine, right. you got the taste of girl. I'm the cook, but I need you, boo. I can't, I'm nothing without Still you. You come back. I'm nothing without you, baby. Still come back. Taste it, a whole spoon of it. <laughs> Put your, open your mouth, girl. He's like the pickles. Take it, take it. You was a punk. It tastes like them pickles. Oh, it's lit. All right. So, read what Kathy had to say. Kathy? Mm -hmm. Living Miracle Homestead. I'm sorry. All right. So, um, she was telling me what sorghum is. Okay, you then she said, Lady Cheryl grows, grow, grow. Uh, she making sure. Uh, look, look. Lady Cheryl grows sugar cane. Oh, it's Worcestershire. Shy girl. Shy her. Well, they broke down the spelling. What well, they did the dictionary break down? Wish a shy her. Ah, thank you. Wish a sh wish I her. wish I was shy like her. Wish a shy her. Gotcha. That's how I be talking. My ebonic spelling. What's that? Mean? Ebonics is broken. Language. Broken down. Sorry, I. I kept hitting the cat button. Oh, it's okay. It helps me read it. Please put it on cap so it can help me read the little letters. <laughs> she said, girl, cooking in your kitchen is fun. It's funny fun. Who is that? Tell me. Oh, who. Oh, Safari. I mean, Safari. Safari. She want to say uh, call Sapphire Safari. Safari is a good name, though. Thank you. Is it okay? All right. So that's it. So what I'm going to do now, I can't trust Naya. I was going to come talk to y'all and let Naya do the second one. What's the second one? The same thing. Basically walking down these ingredients and putting them in the bowl. Oh, okay. You can do it. Yeah, they gonna watch me. Okay. Are you gonna talk or you want me to walk you through it? And I read the comments myself. Sure, you can. I study. <laughs> All right. So after that, uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put combine all the things: the beans, the mixture, and. The onions. I don't know where they at though. My sous chef just knocked them out my ass. Knock them down. One, just one, just one. But you know me, I be clumsy. All right. And they said bring to a boil for about five minutes and then um, put them in the jar. But we're gonna have to go faster the second time because love, you know, boom. All right. Just hang with y'all cooking. All right. So boom. I mean, uh, oh, right. boom. Okay. The onions and the garlic. Mm. How y'all doing? That's good. All right, step in. Step in. You want me? Go ahead. The first ingredient you're gonna do is um, you're gonna um, put the water in. And then you're going to put one fourth of that powder stuff. I did that. Mm -hmm. so, uh, how much water? Mm -hmm. How much? A one and a half. One and a half cups of water. Mm -hmm. And 
one here. You go ahead. Um, you're gonna get the one fourth cup of brown sugar, which is three of those. You want a different one? Yes. Cause you could just sprinkle it in there, but. And that's just one can. One can is the right amount. So here, here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. It's a matter of water. Is anyone canning this weekend? I don't see the. Uh, I don't see the. I want your thumbs up. Oh, uh, I'm gonna use this one fourth cup. I'm using this for like beef, chicken flavor, not beef. On top go. If so, if you're canning this weekend, what are you canning on? What's your next canning project? Give, me, give it to me. You need that over there. You need me to tell you what's next? Brown sugar. All right, brown sugar. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not thick. Mm -hmm. This is some brown sugar I got from that store that Homestead Heart goes to in Georgia. And, um, I hadn't used it, so I about to get to using it. Um, the only thing I'm concerned about about this recipe is that I already had my beans soaking. And it calls for two and a half cups of beans to the recipe. When did your daddy go outside? Uh, I don't know. He looked past me. He made sure he left, but I still got this many beans left. Three. Okay. Down the chair. Three. All right. I'm going to get a chair. <laughs> Okay, love lady is going to be canning diced tomatoes. You know, love lady, I just had to go to um, Food Line today and get tomato paste, tomatoes, cute um, diced tomatoes, and tomato sauce. Next year, I do not want to have to be purchasing that stuff. I want this stuff in my cabinet. I had to check on Naya. I got to check on Naya, y'all. I got to check on Naya. I see her over there. Do, 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 do. Now move that out your way. And then pick up this. See, I'm left-handed. She right-handed. Oh, but... Yeah, so she might don't put stuff the way I put stuff. I don't know. Oh, you need me to read the next ingredient for you? Uh, you just yell yeah, next. Next. All right, um, one fourth cup of vinegar, and you could just put it in there. So let's see. I love hanging with friends and cooking. Thank you, um, Kathy. I love hanging with you. All right, you ready for the next one? All right, one fourth cup of ketchup. Um, okay. Erica, you should do pepper jelly. It is so good. It go good on chicken nuggets. It go good on, um, say if you want to do. Naya said jalapeno peppers. Jalapeno pepper poppers? Yes. Okay, it's like a brockenberry sauce, like the one that's at Arby's. And my daughter, she loves it. I mean, she she will. I don't know why my brother, my brother I don't know why my son didn't take my baby some of that stuff. All right, you want the next ingredient? Yes, ma'am. All right, two tablespoons of, what is, what is it? 
Was a was a she 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 said 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 she the molasses. The molasses? Yeah. How? Yeah, they saw me. They saw you. <laughs> now you go over here going rogue, y'all. She going rogue. Oh, Naya. Speaking of going rogue, I'm going to stir my beans up. So I'm. They. The beans that I have on the stove already, they have not came to a boil as of yet. Um, I got them on like three because I kind of like want to be doing everything at one time. I got my jars heating up in the back. They're already heated. I have to get my lids on the stove. So I got my, uh-oh. Kitchen, kitchen, kitchen now. Kitchen, kitchen. Naya, use the thing. Use the no. Oh, you good. are measuring it. But you could just use the um the little plastic thing for that. Little plastic. That little purple or red thing. Oh, that bad. little spatula. So. So. All right, let me know when you finish with stuff. Naya, stop being cute with it. Just do it, girl. You gotta be the perfect amount. Oh my God, perfect amount. You already messed up the onions. You messed up the onions. What did I say? Let me know what you finish with. You finish with this. Yes. That, that, that nasty ginger stuff. And you guys. I don't see the top to the Worcestershire seeds. If you see it, grab so just think, when Naya goes to college, she'll probably be teaching some of her roommates how to can. It's good stuff, Naya, like jellies and stuff. I guess not. <laughs> Naya, you is bad. What were you at? One half. Two, take two. Wait, where's Naya? Mm -hmm. So, y'all, I'm only going to make two batches. Two, one. But on live. So, I don't even know why I'm putting all this stuff up. I'm just trying to get it cleaned up so we can keep recording and I can show the next step. I'm looking for this. Ask me quickly. To what? To what? To what, Naya? <laughs> Stop playing. <laughs> Don't be putting two things of cayenne pepper. Are you finished? Yeah, I'm finished. Black pepper? Mm -hmm. Everything's done. Right. Everything done. So Naya did a good job. I wanted to spend some time with y'all, but I got to clean up this mess. So I'll be talking in a minute. A minute or so, but I'm gonna definitely make some more. All right, do you even try to get that off the side with the spatula? All right, I'm gonna put these in there. Mm -hmm. Put the other onions on the table. Hello. 
Oh, don. That's good. <laughs> Are you there? <laughs> Right. So it actually feels like y'all are not even in the room, but I appreciate you being here. Oh, now you get a little dangerous. That's not. Right. Oh, fine. All right, I'm going to pour nice mixture. Oh, let me taste it. Okay, try stirring. What I do? That is wrong. This, this batch a little off. Oh, this don't give me that wow factor. Oh, that way. Help me. Turn off the dump and bring that so I can reach it. Put them all, put that right here. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. All right, bring that forward. All right. Stop to get real. Bam. 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 Uh, All right, y'all. Y'all know I'm new to this, not true to it now. I had to go get my spatula because. Fish pole, really it in. Well, it's me and my friends. What? What? Walk in, walk out. Oh, that's a hot, man. That's why I got the mint. Where did it go? Uh, put it over there. Hello? All right. Cha cha. So go. Cha cha. Hello? No, you, what are you doing? You know. The people don't know what you're talking about. I just dance. Well, you need to tell them you dance. Oh, I'm dancing. Fishing pole. Reel it in. Well, It's me and my okay. friends. Go work. Whoa. Walk in. Walk out. Whoa. Walk it out. <laughs> you cannot trust her behind the camera. You cannot trust her. Oh my goodness. Walk it out. Whoa. All right. <sighs> Wait a minute. Put that up. We well, got ketchup on here. I don't want to use. Give me a paper towel. I don't want to put this on my. Appreciate you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Sweet and my friends. Well, all right. You see what you gotta go through. Just imagine me trying to do a video to with all this. I thought it would be just easier to go live. I thought it would just be easier to talk about my fears in Canada. I thought it would be easier to let you look at these fruit flies. He just hanging out. All in the video and stuff. Mm, so disrespectful. So oh, disrespectful. Thank you for calling me cute. Sure. Who's she? Oh, which one? Uh, Homestead. Which oh, Homestead? Living. Point to it. Point, <laughs> to, it. Point to it. Oh, that's Living Miracle Homestead. Her name is Kathy. Miss Kathy. All right. So I'm let, I brought everything up to the same temperature, which is fine. It's it's not making a lot, y'all. It's not. I don't know if it's because because I soaked the beans before I measured the beans or what. Because one note in this this um. I know they swallow up now. That net is going to steal the show. Getting on my nerves already. Scared the camera. 
Mm-hmm. So the the yield. This is what I wanted to I say. Talk to make. Great question. Awesome. <laughs> it makes five pint jars. So I'm making a total of ten. But I don't understand I how see. two and a half cups. It's gonna be enough <laughs> from five. Snoop, stop. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Because it says it yields. It says, okay, recipe tips. Yep. <laughs> a single batch requires two and a half cups of dried beans that yield five and a half cups hydrated beans. So what they're telling me is the two and a half cups is going to swell into five and a half cups. So good thing you put. So, I'm going to just go off that. Um, the first time I can't, I kind of like did everything by I, I seasoned the meat the way I wanted to. I put the beans where I wanted to. I put the head space where I wanted to. No, I didn't. I did a one inch head space. I did a one inch head space and they actually came out very, very good. I'm going to share them with you. Now, you see if I got any questions. Yes, ma'am. I got any questions? Oh, if you have soaked them, you will need to do five. Five what? Five what? I mean, five of what? And Snoop said, you making me some hot sauce, Jimbo? No, no. Now you stop yelling. No. Answer the question. Nah, Snoop. Erica. So Erica said, it may be because the beans was soaked before measured, maybe. Yes. Yes. So, Kathy, are you still in the room? Her healthy homes? So these are the first beans I did, which um, there were one-inch head space, but it went down a little bit. It has turkey meat in them. And I don't have a good camera, but these are those beans. And um, they taste good. I use them for like eating them by themselves or with white chili or any recipe that I want to put a bean inside. This is the split um, pea, yellow split pea soup, which is the one inch head space um, in the pint jars. I never tasted it before. Um, I never tasted it before. Um, but yeah, that's that. Let me see. How about it again? No. So I only did two types of beans. I did a pea and I did a bean before. And um, if you can look at the head space, it dropped. So yes, I've been concerned, but the jars did seal. I did these on ten seventeen. Read your, she told me read your, my recipe again. So it was under the recipe tips, Kathy. It says a single batch requires two and a half cups of dry beans that yields. And I'm thinking yield, meaning it will make later <laughs> five and a half cups of hydrated beans. Again, a single batch requires two and a half cups of dry beans and yields Five and a half cups of hydrated beans. So the two and a half cups of soaked beans will be just fine. No, nah, you. Mm. Why are you making me make them stupid faces? Leave me alone. <laughs> All right, so we are boiling in one pot and both pots, and I'm going to go ahead and set a timer for five minutes. Uh oh, time.
So when I soak them, they turned into five cups. So should I put two more cups in each pot? Yeah, they were soaking for three days. They were soaking for three days. You know what a bean look like, real? You know, like a regular nut soap. It's, it's not done, but it is softer. Oh, what if you soak them for three days? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead because I knew something was a little off. So next time. Measure dry beans before you soak them. I'm going to. <coughs> right. um, based off what Kathy living at Miracle Homestead, she is a canner. How many years have you been canning, Kathy? Let the people know so they can come over and visit. One time, y'all, her refrigerator was unplugged and she didn't want to trust it by plugging it back up and she had to can so much she went canning crazy over there she was busy um she her channel has a lot of fruit trees fruit trees that you probably wouldn't even see in most places um she has a star fruit tree she had a banana tree taller than the house so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add two cups to each batch now it's making a little more sense to do so. And then they're eating up some more of these beans because this is a lot of beans. 30 years of canning experience. Woohoo! I know that's right. All right, two more cups. I look a little better, Kathy. It look a little better. It look a little better. I'm a little more happier the way it looks. Because at first, oh, yeah, it looked like something I pulled out of a can now. And, y'all, not only should you be canning to, you know, this is my perspective. Why would I keep paying three fifty for these when I could pay three fifty for it, the beans didn't even cost three fifty three dollars for um how many pounds of beans that was a two pound bag of beans mm -hmm. and take those ingredients which were you know the tomato paste cost twenty nine cent. Um, I bought that ketchup that I have. You know, I have the ketchup. It was like $4 at Sam's. Um, seasons and stuff that you normally have around the house. Brown sugar is not more than $1 for brown sugars. Why would you keep paying them three fifty dollars or 2 for 7 That's what you make it. Yeah, that's what I'm making. Why would you keep paying that money for this is one pound of beans, which is 12 ounces, which is uh, tw uh, 12 ounces, one pound, and that's one pint. So some of them, the, the smaller, but so this is, I don't want to mess up my measurements. Miss Kathy said, and they are ready to eat when you like. And they are ready to eat when you're like. I'm going to go get this other jar. You trying to the yeah. So my cup is a pint. This is let my my jars I'm making is a pint. I wanted to make this size because you know if you having a cookout or something like that, you might be you know just need a whole thirty two ounces. That's twenty eight ounces. So just imagine if I would have jarred up these, you know, this jar, you know, this is better than that. What I'm making here, I know exactly what I'm putting in it. I didn't add some. Oh, the five minutes is up, but I'm going to set another. It's 
It's more than a pint, but less than a quart. More than a pint, but less than a quart. Because mm. a quart has 32 ounces, and a pint has 16 ounces, which is 20, 28 ounces. All right, while I get ready, I'm just going to get ready. So basically, my rhyme and reason is stop making people rich. Do this yourself at home. Um, I will never again go out and buy bush baked beans again. I will never buy them again because now that I know how to can. The dog died, right? Well, that dog been replaced probably 50 times. <laughs> Lord forgive me. Anyway, I will never buy beans again. I will always continue to dry, get dry beans. My mom has always cooked dry beans and with smoked meat and different things like that. I never beans. really, I got tired of beans. We grew up on beans. But well, ain't nothing wrong with a little bean, a little fiber. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Um, hopefully next time I'll be doing some black beans and have my own black beans at home with a little mixed garlic and cilantro. Um, um, the sodium in this is 270 grams. Now, I'm not supposed to have over 500 milligrams of sodium a day. This right here, I wouldn't even be able to enjoy this because too much sodium in it. If I'm canning my own black beans, I'm controlling the salt that's going in the, in the jar. So that's another good reason. Now, um, I don't know if you guys follow T.T. Urban Pantry. She's always canning her husband okra and tomatoes. I saw these in the store and I'm like, I want some. You know, I didn't know about fixing them. Oh, I ain't had no tomatoes this year, so I didn't can them. But next year I will. So I purchased this because I wanted to eat them. Um, I usually took my okra and stir fried them with different vegetables and just ate them up. This has 390 milligrams of salt. There's a lot of salt in this product. They were five for a dollar. I wanted them. I got them. High blood pressure right now. All right. So, I'm going to come right here. Oh, I guess. I'm going to come right here. Should, Should I put the can right there? Did you read this? Try your okra raw. Yeah, I tried my okra raw. I tried it right off the thing, and I messed around and ate one with all that. It was overgrown, and I ate it too late. But yeah, I've um, I've learned a lot about okra, and I'm looking forward to next year. Yay! All right, all right. So my beans are boiled for the five minutes. I added more beans to them. And I'm just trying to maneuver around what I got going on. All right. I think it's best for me to put a few here at a time and bring that pot over here. Um, I don't have my vinegar. I was almost ready. I don't have my vinegar ready. Brad's vinegar, no more. I make my own apple cider vinegar now. Y'all just don't know. If y'all ain't making your own products and saving yourself that time, and it's, it, I mean, yeah, it was easier just to go to the store and get it. But look at how much money I'm saving. You know, I wish I would save the money back then. Well, I ain't need to save no money back then. How about that? Uh-huh. I will get it. Can you grab me a paper towel? You looking at questions for me? Uh, no. Uh -huh. no. Can you please? Yes. Because I can't in a ride. All right, thank you. All right, y'all. So we're coming up to an end. Um, 
Any questions? These are my lids. Dash it through the snow. And I want her to this way. All the fields we go. Laughing all the way. Ha, ha, ha. I can't get the vinegar thing down. Too many fruit flies. Oh, I took and put my um. I took and put my. I put my 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 stuff won't even in the room. It wasn't in the kitchen. Don't store it in the kitchen, and don't forget to put the coffee filter on it and put the rubber band on top. And you don't have to check it every two days and push it down. You can come back as often as you remember it, but put it somewhere else in the house. Or, you know, I took mine in the living room. We barely, rarely be in the living room. And I took it over there and no fruit flies was over there at all. Now, these fruit flies that's in here now is from composting. Huh. <sighs> All right. Lovely. One inch hair space. Um, if anybody have any questions, Naya is working for me right now. I think. I am. Glasses are very hot. Always be careful. Oh, no, no. oh your glasses. Nice. What I'm going to do. I'm going to move around a little bit because with that, Naya. <laughs> you didn't know you were saying it? I didn't know I was saying it out loud. <laughs> oh, it smelled just like some baked beans I made. Oh, um, this uh, I bought the life. Some of the bush beans I bought the life. Kathy? Yes. Yeah, Miss Kathy. Miss Kathy said I had I had a good product, but it had fruit flies. But it had fruit flies. Sometimes you might want to eat them fruit flies. What? Shouldn't have went in there. What? <laughs> I'm just joking, Naya. You sound different. And then, look, this is cheap. This fell apart on me. Um, so my kids that are looking at my live, yeah, yeah. next time, now y'all can order me a new, a new one of these for Kuma. 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 And Naya yeah. boys. Yeah. Yeah, I need help. I'm trying to, I, you don't know how my stuff go. You don't know how to I'm work this. I'm trying to be helpful. Oh. I'm going to super glue it after the day because I'm tired of this thing. So it snaps in. You know, it's made, made it good enough to get our money. So. The jar layers are weak. Oh, so I shouldn't waste my money on no. All right, so these are the five jars <laughs> that the recipe said it makes. So I'm going to go around these five jars to use this one batch of product. So that's what I'm doing. To try to, you know, go around evenly and do it you know, the best I can. I'm making a mess, too. Mm. And don't forget the D-Bubble. Mm, so, yeah, I decided to keep going because... I'm almost out of product. And because this is very sticky, definitely I'm going to clean the room rim very well. Okay. Now, any questions? It's getting a little dry. It's getting a little dry. Now. I'm going to get. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to give the vinegar and I'm going to give the vinegar to the chickens and what? <laughs> it is very good for them. So you're going to give vinegar to the chickens because it's very good for them. So you're going to put the vinegar in the water, Miss Kathy? They don't drink it. I mean, they're chickens. I mean, because how are we going to give the chicken the vinegar? 
Nine. But and it, oh, it's more. Okay, I'm sure the next time you make it, you will be faster. The first time is a learning time, and Miss Kathy said yes. But no more. Who said all that? Lit love lady. Thank you so much, Donna. So I can tell y'all right now. Five jars, it did not. You said another one. Oh, I am. So it did not do the five jars. We chase the beef. All right, move this one out the way. All right, so because I have another batch, I'm just going to go fill these all up to the one-inch head space. Y'all are free to ask any questions. I'm glad. It looked it look good, y'all. It looked very good. It do taste good as well. Miss Kathy said, I'm glad you add more beans. You added more beans. Yeah, because I would have been out back if I didn't. I shoot, for real, I think I could have added some more beans. But I got to keep in mind that they might continue to swell. And I'm glad I did two batches, too. I just, I've, I've seen a lot of videos where the recipe called for one amount, and they said it's going to make, uh-oh. They said it's going to make um, a certain amount. And it and it does it. So I'm used to that. And I always will can't oh now you're yawning, y'all. <laughs> she ain't even working. She ain't even working to her full potentials and she yawning over here. All right. So not yet. So this is and this, for anybody who don't know about canning, like my daughter um, is in the house. So this is um, a ruler that helps you with the measuring the head space. The head space, meaning the space from the top to where you stop. Oh, I might have just made a new thing. From the top, from where you stop. Stop, stop, whatever. Stop pouring. All right. So it's a one-inch head space. And one-inch head space is all the way down. And that one is a little off. That one is a tiny bit off. That one is a tiny bit off. That one is a tiny bit off. This one I'm going to go with just right. This cat is in low. Oh, your battery is on your low. I'm going to get the charge. Out my leg. All right. My battery is running low, but Naya's going to go get the charger right quick, and hopefully we can finish this live out. But I'm not going to take you on to the pressure cannon part of it. I want to thank everybody who follows my channel and um, always giving me great advice, great tips, um, just making me smile. I'm making y'all smile because I'm a natural smiler, I guess. Um, don't forget to debubble. And you was probably think, hey, what you debubbling liquids for? Hey, they say debubble. So guess what? I'm debubbling. And um, so you can just really stir these up and get the bubbles out. What you think, Miss Kelly? Stir them up a little bit. Y'all, they look so good. I'm going to bring it in closer, too. I'm trying to get Naya to... Right. And I'm going to go ahead and... Um, it's hot, y'all. 
Very, very hard. And you see, good thing I did clean. I don't know if you can see it. This camera not that good, but oh, what? Do it like that? Yeah. See how it got the ketchup and stuff? Mm -hmm. You want to make sure you cleaning these off because you don't want to give no reason why your jars will not seal. So we want them to seal. Okay. Miss uh, Kathy said, when you open your first jar, do a review on how it turned out. Turns out. For you, Miss Kathy, of course I will. Then she also said, when you have liquids, easy to debubble. Yeah, it was um, pretty much easy. Now, Love Lady said, I see it. I don't know what my magnet at. There's always something with us canners. We can't find this. We can't find that. We can't find it. Now, something I learned, and I really didn't learn the science behind it, is that we shouldn't be debubbling with a, uh, oh, I do know. Fingertip tight, y'all. Not real tight. Don't crank it down. Just fingertip tight. Um, you shouldn't use like a butter knife or a knife to debubble because you don't want to risk the chance of cracking your jars. And these jars, um, you have to make sure you're checking them because sometimes even from the grocery store, you know, they, or the store you may purchase from that, they may not have, they may have chips in them or cracks in them or different things like that. Hey, Clausen, how you doing? Look, I'm making babies. I did it, and I followed a recipe, Clausen, from the ladder. You made some potatoes. What kind of potatoes? No, to the ladder. She make it a uh, What kind of potatoes? Miss Clausen. Miss Clausen. Clausen, like. Clock, clock, like clock, tail calls. Clockness, Clausen. Now they not that hot, y'all. So <laughs> and I had my jars heating up the whole time I was doing the recipe. Did you put water in it? Water in what? The bait, the not baits. I mean the potatoes. The candy. Who who asking me? I didn't. I didn't make potatoes. I, I know she did. Oh, you asked her by name, then she might not know. Oh, she Miss Clausen. When you Naya wants to know when you can't potatoes. potatoes, did you put water in it? Okay. Put water in the potato or a type of liquid or a type of liquid. Oh, that's pretty. It is claw. Oh, it's claw. It's claw. It's claw, sir. Were you still playing with the name? She said that. Yes, I I use water and and I hot bath. You you hot water bath. She hot water bath candle. That sounds great. Did you make a video, Clausen? Is it done? Clausen. They always show me that it's not going. Why don't you fill up to the top? Because I already know I'm right now, and I'm not. It's it's not going to make five pints. So I'm just. I'm not trying to put too much heavy of a bean because you know when you scoop it. Snap when I'm scooping, the beans are coming up the most. So maybe I should make sure I'm not getting so many beans. So that's why I'm coming in three times with three ladles of beans. Mm -hmm. It's check for a question. No, I didn't make a video. Okay. Well, we know how how canning can be sometimes, so 
Alright, so this is too much juice. So what I'm gonna do because I'm taking so many beans out at one time, I don't wanna overfill it with beans and the beans still keep swelling. I'm gonna use a slotted spoon. Or I can use this. I was using this. I was using this for the beans. So I'm gonna use this so I don't take all of my juice. And I can get these beans and I can come back with the juice later. So it don't put so many in there. And I'm going to just do four because I can already see. I can already see that. I can already see that it's not going to make five. I'm a little worried. I'm gonna go back here. They're talking amongst themselves. Also, if my kids are still in the house, I would like a pot with a slot on it so I can pour and stop using this. Yeah, just let you know. I found out, oh, okay, her healthy home is still in the house. That's good. Canon can be somewhat intimidating, but you know, God has pressed it upon me to continue doing it. I was afraid. Mm -hmm. He just told me, study some more <laughs> and pick it right back up. And that's what I did. I went and looked at some more videos. I read that book more. <laughs> I read that book a little more and... I just made some decisions to come and do it again. Now, I was going to be making a video um, about doing these beans. And, of course, that came with a lot of editing and a lot of work. So I changed my mind and decided to go live. Um, I hope y'all can join me for my premiere um, I'm having a premiere coming up soon. My she shed is ready. And I'm going to go and record how everything looks. And I'm going to do a premiere for it. So I hope everybody can be a part of that. Um, I want to do it. Um, what's today? Monday or Tuesday? Monday. Monday. I'll uh, release it Wednesday. Tuesday's last day of school. Tuesday is the last day of school, now you say. I'll, I'll release it Wednesday. And, y'all, to be honest, it's not quite at the headspace. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little bit of water in this ladle. I'm going rogue, y'all. I'm going rogue. Put a little water. Like Erica two. said, we, we always enjoy the tutorials. And Miss... Let me see. Point. The Point. Bottom. Living miracle. Yeah. Oh. Miss Kathy. Miss Kathy. Just I remember Snoop Point Art name. Oh, Miss Kathy said, "I think there is been. I think it. Uh, I think there has been a lot of candor people that scared. That scared folks. And if you try to stick with what is safe with you, you are good." Yeah. Thank you, Kathy. As y'all said, that is a lot of work to have to cut down. To have it cut down. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of work. No, I'm talking about you. Alright, so y'all, I just went rogue. I added a little bit of water to my recipe. 
to get my head space. Because I'm running out. Shoot. Ain't nobody trying to be pouring out no jars. And I'm not going to be worried about it. It's finished. I'm done. Ta da! Debubble. Make sure you always debubble. It's very important. Um, it did not make five. It made four. Well. All right, so boom. Don't forget to clean your rim after working with a sticky product like this. You definitely want to make sure you clean the top. It's really just the top. I'm going around the sides because I dripped on the sides. I know that in I know you don't have to use vinegar, but I've learned with vinegar and I like using the vinegar. Some people just clean it. It says it's a clean rim. I also know that. People say you don't have to boil the lids anymore, but I boil the lids. Yep, I do. Well, not boil. I just heat them up. <laughs> so, boom. That's done. I know I debubbled all of them. I know I wiped the rim on all of them, and now I know I'm going to put a lid on all of them. And speaking of lid, that's my, one of my nicknames, lid, L-I-D, or Liddy B. See, that's why I can't get off guard. Y'all see me just trying to put that up there without the... I got to stay focused. See, I'm about to start having fun. And then you see what happened? Messed up. Mm -hmm. um, so I have that premiere coming. I'm going to record it probably tonight and do like a night look because I follow... Some ladies like um, Danielle from uh, Domestic, Danielle, the Domestic Science, something like that. <laughs> she, um, Danielle does a decor video, and sometimes they'll do it in the daytime and at nighttime to show you how I look at night and then show you how I look at day. But to be honest, because y'all know I'm honest, I ain't think, them, think about them birds and them lizards that be trying to come up in there. So we left the door open on it because it's still the shed area and the door was open and what happened? Two birds flew right up in there. <sighs> Go to touch something. Lizard right there. <laughs> like, <laughs> what am I going to do with myself? So um, I did put some snake away in there because like I said, I'm a little worried. Um, it's warm, but it's not extremely hot. I can touch it. Um, my water space is is perfect because I have water in some of the in a lot of the jars. So when they heat it up, I just pour the water in there. So I have the water space that I need in the canner. Ta da! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine jars. I'm excited. Crank that big up. Time to turn the heat on. All right. So, boom. Go my top. What top? My candy top. Well, which one? Oh, here you go. All right. All right, I'm just inspecting it before I do it. Let me. Now, nah, hold up. This is the weight. That's the weight that you that to the press. Now, my my um, this is a pesto. So a pesto canner don't work like the American canner. Um, they have a dial on this. Um, they got the pressure and different things they have that a that a pesto don't. We just have one weight. Um, we have to, it's like an eye thing. It's like an eye coordination to me. It's, I know it needs to be done, so I'm going to let the steam go vent for 10 minutes. Once it starts steaming, I'm going to time it for 10 minutes. 
After the 10 minutes is up, then I will add that rickety rockety thing. And I'll wait for it to do its thing. Mm -hmm. And then once it do its thing, you know that thing. That that ain't that. <laughs> let me stop. Um, once it do that, I'll then set the timer for the hour and 15 minutes. I think it's called a regulator. Regulator? I don't know. I don't know. For some reason, my... Yeah, bye. Oh, my feet. Bye. Dun, 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 dun. Bye. 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 Any questions, Maya? Okay, I have Presto too. Presto works great, and how uh, it has a long warranty from her healthy home. And Miss Kathy said, "I have a Presto too." And Miss Colson World said, "I know so many want." The All American. I mm -hmm. like my Presto. Seems like everybody got Presto. Yeah, I, yeah, everybody got a Presto. I want, I want a bigger one. Either if I don't get a bigger one, maybe no, I should get a bigger one, right? So I should get a bigger one, so I don't have to do it twice. So now, y'all. Um, oh, all these beans. <sighs> Can I put them in the freezer like this? Chick fil A. Chick fil A. Anything inside there? No. I'm waiting for an answer. <laughs> you definitely need a bigger one. Oh. Yeah, I definitely need a bigger one. Okay. Always going rogue with all this candy. I don't know why I thought I was ready to can four pounds of beans, which I really am. Um, you know what? I'm going to do it. You're right. right now. What I'm going to do, and, and I'm not going to take you guys with me. It's almost been two hours. I do appreciate you. I might have lost my kids a long time ago. They'd probably be like, what's she doing? Let me get my phone. Let me check. They text me or something. I put my phone on Do Not Disturb. Something went wrong. Please try again. I didn't ask you anything. Ooh. All right. How y'all doing? So, That's good. So, Quee and Snoop, they abandoned the situation. Um, I'm just please hit the um, like button. Like you know, I doubt if anybody's probably going to rewind yeah. this. I wanted to start off by... Um, like and share. Hit the notification bell to see. To know. Yeah, all that stuff Naya saying back there. She got that part rehearsed. I don't. I don't. I don't ask people to like and share. Um, I noticed that it's hard for people to hit the like button, but I noticed the views, and I'm grateful for the views and. Thank you. Um, I'm start, starting to learn how to watch videos on my TV. So, um, Kathy, I understand what you said, that you're watching us. But, you know, sometimes, you, you know, might be watching on a tablet or something like that. And you're just trying to catch up. Um, I want to show love to everybody, um, you know, now. You know, I just want to show love now because I've created a lot of great friendships here on the YouTube channel, not just the garden community, but the home decor community, some of the food channels. Um, back before I just need the recipe, I never would comment, you know, and didn't know the importance of just, you know, not only thumbs up and, and just saying hello and thank you and I appreciate you or something like that, you know, like, you know, I've been following looking at recipes and following people on YouTube. And now some of the people that I was already following three, four years ago for oxtails or carry gold or whatever I needed. They're now coming to visit my channel. And that is like, whoa, I've been following you for a long time. You over here now. So, you know, when you become a content creator, you, you, 
you do get open up to a lot of other content creators. I'm learning that. Um, I basically started my YouTube because I just wanted to document my journey more so. And that garden with joy, she talked me into it. Um, so I wanted to document my journey. And then I started meeting so many of you, like, you know, Clausen, Her Healthy Home, Kathy, Erica. Erica don't even have no content, y'all. She is the best. <laughs> like, she come over, I'd be like, Dad, hey, Erica. Um, you know, uh, Donna from um, Gardens Project and more. You know, Lady Cheryl, you know, I'm... That's one of my top canners. Yeah, I look at Homestead Heart. I look at Lady Cheryl, but now I look at um, Living Miracle Homestead. And, and you know, I, that's one of the first channels um, I was looking at to see about dehydration. And I'm like, oh, she dehydrated that? Oh, you can dehydrate? Oh, well, dehydrate mangoes. Duh, I buy it from the store. So things like that. And then you just learn so much about the world that you didn't even know. It's a new garden style I learned just last night. And I was like, oh, I did something like that. So let me tell you about this right quick. And I'm gone. So I used to keep my seeds in a Ziploc bag. So over time, the seeds would just fall out into the Ziploc bag. So I had this corner of seeds, like a, a corner of seeds, maybe like three tablespoons of seeds. That's the only way I could describe it. And this Ziploc bag. So I decided to cast them out. So we are cutting back trees and uh, we are cutting from around trees and getting the property together and getting ready for chickens and getting ready for pigs. That's new. Uh, we don't eat pork, but we about to have pigs. And I'll tell y'all everything I learned when it's time. Uh, um. And so the dirt looked it's so good. Like the dirt, you could tell the worms was living in. It had all that bubble look on top of the black soil. I thought I raked away and got all the black walnuts up. And I was like, oh, this dirt looks so good. Oh, it looks so good. So I took the seeds. I don't even know what's mixed and what. The ones I did recognize is the corn and the flower seeds. But everything else I could tell was like a type of lettuce or a brassica, you know, because they all like the little beady black or little beady brown. And I took it, cast them right out there. And I took a couple of, no, 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 no. Did I do that? No, I was thinking I wanted to do that, cast them by that tree and create a space over there. But when I went over there, I noticed a whole bunch of different roots from the different trees and I decided not to. So what I did decide to do is cast them into a couple of pots that were not being used no more. And this is, this is a, this is right here. It's going to be like, what? So I have sweet potatoes still growing. In a, in a container that really probably wasn't going to be ready. So I covered them all the way up with dirt, like all the way. So in that bucket where I got the dirt all the way to the top of the container, I cast those seeds right on top of it. And another one, I have white potatoes. I covered the dirt when they were growing up. I covered them with dirt again. And I cast the seeds all the way on top of them too. So what I'm thinking is, Okay, when the seedlings do come up, and they will, because God is good, I can just take them out there and move them, move them somewhere else when they come up. So, hey, but it's that people who grow, it's a thing like that, but it's another, it's a style of growing that people just do that and cast out all the seeds and without no rhyme or reason. And uh, it's kind of like uh, a food force or letting nature take its course and uh, the strongest plant will survive or something like that. So I don't know the proper name for it. I think it's called Star with a P. And I heard a guy talking about it yesterday. And I said, hmm, that's funny. I just did something like that. Didn't know it was a name for it. So um, it's been two hours. 
I appreciate everybody who came along her healthy home. Thank you for being here for me and Kathy. I enjoyed you earlier. Um, let's get ready for Lady Cheryl. She's going to be going live later and I'm going over there to get me some knowledge from her. I enjoy the YouTube community. I am so blessed and highly favored and thankful for each and every one of you. Um, if you don't check out Kathy's channel, you're missing out on what Florida have to offer. <laughs> you're missing out with Florida. I mean, we know we follow Dan um, and and um, Gigi and Echo, Eco, sorry, Eco Neighbor. Who else live in Florida? I don't know who else lives in Florida, but I know Kathy lives in Florida. And I know she got those star fruit trees and chickens and they about to wait a minute, Kathy, you should be getting the quail ready. You you about to um get the quail. Why you didn't get the quail? The quail, you should be cooking. You should be deep feathering it or something. You should you and David should be busy getting this meat ready for the night. You're supposed to eat good tonight. So um, you know, she's definitely homesteaded. Um and Clausen, you know, that's another great channel. She's very informative. She knows a lot about the flowers and uh, not afraid of bugs. I am. She believes in rehousing things. <laughs> I'm working on myself. Um, and her healthy home, definitely a great Christian woman. Um, you, exactly who she, who you see, exactly who she is. And I like everybody who follows somebody who don't settle for anything. All good people, all good vibes. And what else I got? Erica don't got no content. Donna, Donna is um, working with her small space. She actually has a her space too. Donna, did I really get that from you? Because her garden is her space. She's always done so many things for so many people. And she created that garden space by hand. Um, by hand with her own raised beds, you know, up high. So she don't have to be worried about bugs down low, but she already knows she can't get rid get high from the bugs. But, um, she, the only thing she struggles with is a watering system, um, over there where she is, uh, the way that her home was set up, it wasn't set up with water. So she's catching water and she has a great system she created for that. Um, so thank you, Donna, for always supporting me and encouraging me to, you know, encouraging me about good channels, too. She always will send me a good channel to watch. Let's see. I got to plant this sugar cane. You know, a lot of people are planting sugar cane. My husband had a piece of sugar cane one time this long, long as my two arms. And um, he was so excited for it, but he put it in the room. and forgot all about it. And now that I was gardening, I thought about it one time and I wouldn't look for it. And it was up there, don't dry it into a dig on um, I don't hear nothing from this pot yet. That pot said, stop rushing me. Um. Anyway. So I made baked beans and I followed the recipe and I did the headspace and I debubbled and I did everything I was supposed to do. So, and I believe that it's going to go good. Yeah, mm -hmm. pretty much, pretty much. Thank y'all again. It's been two hours and fun too. Have a great rest of your day. I'm well as I can be, high blood pressure, but I'm working on it. No more salt. And... I'm well. I'm well. All is well. I'm already speaking into existence. He already done woke me up and be like, get it together. <laughs> so, um, see y'all. Thank y'all. It was fun. I didn't just plan to go live, but I did it. Because I wanted to get this cannon over with. And recording a video would have just probably been too much editing. And this was perfect. So thank you. I'm happy for everybody being here. Thank you. Bless you too, love ladies. Um, sorry, Donald. 
Thank you, Clausen. Thank you, Queen. Thank you, Snoop. I don't know where y'all at. Thank you, Joy. Thank you, Her Healthy Homes, Triple H. I gave her that name. Y'all remember that? I gave her Triple H. She's Triple H. Um, and thank you, Kathy, for all your help and support. I didn't really read all the comments, but I'll go back and laugh at them and check them out. Thanks, everybody. Have a great rest of your day again. Bye-bye. And now you got to figure out how to turn it off. <laughs>